is Timothy Trespass, and I am a target individual. Um, I am suffering horribly from this terror, fear, terror, this high frequency ringing in my ears and, and the stuff that goes along with it. And the headaches, I've been getting these horrible headaches and, and you know, the, 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 the frequency, the, the, the fear frequency is just, it's, it's overwhelming. It's like uh, a panic attack every few moments. taking on me. I almost don't recognize myself sometimes. Really, I don't. I'm looking at the thing, I almost don't recognize myself. And, you know, uh, I say a lot of things out here. Uh, I do a lot of expressing myself and trying to work out emotions and share my ideas and my experience and, um, and find fellowship and you know I feel the way that I feel now I really do feel for all the people in the world who are suffering under horrible conditions and I just find it so hard to understand why we want to think we want to make it worse. And, you know, I, I, um, you know, we're in the middle of this housing thing, we got to go back to court the second day, second time next, beginning of next month, and, uh, I don't know what we're going to say, you know, I'm not sure what Peter expects is going to happen, I, I know that she wants to be able to explain what was done to us here, and I don't know, this whole thing, just, everything, it's so, I panic, I have panic attacks, I'm going to take this medication so I don't panic, and then I feel stupid for a while, and then I panic some more, and it's post-traumatic stress, ongoing traumatic stress, so you can see that the toll is taking me, you know, I, 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 I freely admit, you know, I'm no genius, I'm no, I don't know the answers, these people have manipulated me and, and made me do things and think things and believe things and uh, it, you know, I'm the fool. What can I say? I'm an idiot. I thought I knew what was going on and big wave came and you know. Um, and now trying to pick up the pieces, but the pieces keep falling, you know, and they keep fear, fear, afraid, scared, and this kind of that. It's horrible. It's like, I feel like a little, like I'm like, terrified. I never used to be like this. Oh, these headaches, they give me these horrible headaches. These headaches of death for days, for this tss. You can hear it, you can feel it, you can tell it's not the normal tss. It's different, it's painful, it's... Yeah. And 
as I get sick, more and more sick, and more and more out there, different medications at their effects, and you know, I, I just, I pray, I pray, I pray, I pray. I was as brave as those stories in the Bible, those people that, that are tormented and tortured and killed in God's name, and they're like, we have faith, and like nothing happens to them. I wish I had that kind of faith, whether stuff happened or not, I wish I had that kind of faith. I have faith. It's so hard. myself rapidly deteriorate, watching myself unable to do anything that I need to do because I'm so terrified, um, you know, in a bad situation it's getting worse and I'm not really sure what to do about it, you know, uh, I don't really have much resources either. they could do and the bad things that they're gonna end up in our and our I run this thing over and over and it's terrifying. I've been doing this now for years to me. And I haven't quite been able to change my focus to a positive when I try. Excuse me. Well I had to take my night meds, get some sleep. I have on a new medication now, Ambien. I only take it short term. Supposedly it causes uh, retrograde amnesia and you do things like walk around and make breakfast and don't remember. And drive your car to the mall and buy stuff and don't remember. You know, go and have sex with somebody and come home and don't remember. Uh, really strange uh, things have happened on this. You should look it up. It's this very strange medicine. I take only a little tiny piece. And you can see already it's like uh, knocking me out. So. Another thing to be grateful for. Thank the Lord. I have someone to talk to. I have somebody next to me that loves me. I have a roof over my head for the moment. I have a method of communication. I have warmth. I have my cat. I have a little bit of food. I have my medicine. And if tomorrow comes, it's another day. I like this idea of living life every day as though Cash will be here any minute. It really kind of excited me. I'm like, yeah, that's true. You could come at any moment. I just, uh, I'm confused and tired. And I get to rest. The medication works. I wish I didn't have to take it, but after what I've been through, I've experienced so much. I've been exposed to so much. And I really am damaged, traumatized, and having a difficult time with anxiety and fear attacks and panic. And God bless you all. I'll pray for you. Pray for me. Have a nice night.